Hello everybody, this is Psycho here playing Shroud of the Avatar pre-alpha game by Lord British. Uh, this game can be quite difficult to make money in the beginning, so I am going to show you guys how to make money as a noob. Alright, so, um, first thing you need is a range skill of some sort, because um, a couple of, them, of the mobs that we will be killing will run from you constantly. Um, good thing about this way to make money is nothing I'm attacking does damage to me. Everything is just uh, basically livestock. Alright, so um, you need two gold, which I believe you start out with like 100 gold or something when you first make a character. So you don't have to worry about that. You need to buy a cleaver. Um, I'm here in uh, Owl's Head City, which is kind of a hub at the beginning of the game. Um, you may have to do a little traveling to get here, but you can pretty much ask anyone and they'll show you how to get here. Um, I go to Emily, this uh, crafting good merchants, merchant here. I have to put my weapons away because I'm a noob. Alright, and you buy the cleaver. Look at that, two gold. So all you do is swipe it over there, sign for exchange, and you're good to go. Alright, so... I like to keep my weapons out at all times because uh, there's a little charge, like a recast charge on the, on the abilities here. Um, with the cow here, you don't need much but uh, to hit it with a couple of uh, stone fists here is what I'm doing. Um, as soon as he dies, you should be able to harvest him. You start out with a skinning knife so you and uh, it doesn't get used up very fast. So. Um, you should be able to use that to over and over and over. You should be able to make a couple thousand gold actually um, before your skinny knife, skinning knife is uh, is done. All right, get the chickens here. I swear I just killed that chicken. I swear I just killed that chicken. <laughs> Damn chickens! Must be uh, full of antibiotics or something, as my wife would say. Anyway, again, if this game seems a little buggy, it is pre-alpha, and uh, and uh, I've I've actually I actually purchased uh, my in on the alpha about six months ago, and actually just started playing probably three months ago because the first time I logged in, uh, it just wasn't quite ready for me to accept it yet. Um, plus, uh, I don't play this as my main game. Obviously, uh, I'm actually a guild leader in a another game uh, Elder Scrolls Online so I, I don't uh, commit as much time to this game as I could very well commit um, this game is very enjoyable to me um, it's not quite as fast paced as the other games I play and, and that kind of thing and look somebody else has the right idea anyway there's some sheep um, here you need to kill and as, as you can tell all I'm doing is is I'm, I'm killing these sheep killing the chickens, killing the cow, and then I'll show you I'll be killing some rabbits and some elk as well. The elk are who, uh, what runs from you, so that's the kind of the uh, the mob that you need uh, ranged abilities for, so you don't have to like chase it around all the way everywhere. Um, if you notice in the background the gust ball, that's kind of something t that uh, doesn't fight back and allows you to to level up your melee skills. The only problem with with doing that is um, you don't level up any of your defensive skills that way because because uh, it's not attacking back. Um, the The reason I do this uh, what I call livestock farming um, is just basically because you need a little money to be able to train your skills as you as you're getting up. Um, when you go to these different areas, you go to like the newbie area of, of some sort, the mobs are actually really hard to kill in the very beginning level. So, um, doing th in doing so, um, you're not really gaining any money either. Um, so I always do this, I get a couple thousand gold and then I have the money to, to you know, buy some new newbie armor if I need to, because uh, after killing the mobs, it, it, your your items take damage quite easily. Um, again, with your weapons as well. Um, 
And actually, on this character, I didn't really want to dual wield, but it just happened to be dual wielding because that's what I picked up at the beginning, some rusty axes from the tutorial area. So I'm going to kill these rabbits here, and, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with them after I do my rotation here. Um, and, and to be honest, you can do this rotation endlessly. I mean, you will never run out of money doing what I'm showing you here. And uh, it's actually faster than than a lot of ways that I've seen other people do. And I just, uh, I started, I figured that, that this out because I was tired of my guild um, just handing me money every time a patch came out because I just wanted to learn how to do it myself. I wanted to learn how to make money myself because... I mean, I don't want to always rely on other people, and, um, yeah, so, I'm in OOV, uh, which is a guild that's been around since the beginning of time with this game, um, I guess they were Ultima Online players originally, and, and they're kind of like an alliance, There's, they're kind of allied with a couple of their guilds and, and that kind of thing, and, and there's not really any very large guilds in this game at the moment. Um, I foresee that changing when it comes to beta, because people, people are, in, in my opinion, people are missing sandbox games. They're missing games where the players can make content. You know what I mean? Uh, I, I'm just I'm so tired of these theme parks out here, and they they just put you on rails. And you're doing just simple quests all the time, and it, it just it just drives me nuts. I, I just feel like, uh, you know, I I mean I played Ultima Online, but I only played it for a couple of weeks because I, I was really into EverQuest at the time when um, when somebody introduced me to Ultima Online, and then soon after that I played Dark Age of Camelot for quite a few years. Um, but again, I just I always enjoy myself in a sandbox game more than like an action RPG or a, a World of Warcraft which w I would rather slit my throat than play um, I just I mean don't get me wrong World of Warcraft it, it did its thing and, and it, it's great for for the, the type of people that are easily amused by that kind of stuff um, you know not to be offensive by any means I'm just giving my opinions and my opinions are, are God so anyway <laughs> anyway um, so I'll just harvest these these corpses and if you notice if you notice on them when I'm skinning them these particular stags give me a pelt or a, a hide and a deer carcass and it's the carcasses that I'm gonna show you what to do with these guys and you notice I've only done one rotation right now so uh, you know this is one time through and it's probably about I don't know 20 minutes maybe 10 minutes to do this this full rotation here um, come on buddy get back here and then I'll show you at the end um, what to do at the crafting table to to process, basically process these carcasses. Um, I know I'm skinny bunnies, but it's kind of funny actually. All right, so I feel like I'm missing a corpse. Are I not? Oh, there it is. Okay, another bunny. And actually, by the time you kill these bunnies, the elk start respawning again. Um, I killed them kind of quick, but the elk will respawn within probably another 15 seconds. But I'm just showing you one rotation, and uh, obviously and I'm, I'm encumbered because i got a bunch of corpses in my inventory here. Especially, I have a cow corpse in my inventory, so I should be a lot more encumbered than that, but I am. Anyway, um, makes you walk slow. Apparently, it has it affects something to do with your defenses as well, um, with dexterity. I don't know the details of it. Um, they do resets. We're on release uh, 23 right now, and they do character resets pretty much every every time um, they come out with a new release. 
Um, the good thing about it is when you level your skills in there, um, when you level your skills, yeah, they get reset when you have to recreate your character every time. But the good thing about it is you get this buff where you get four times the experience um, to level up your skills again. So um, you could either level up the same things you leveled up before or you can try something completely new. And uh, the way I understand it, I could be wrong, so don't quote me on this, is the XP bonus happens no matter what. Um, I think the amount of skills that you have before the the reset um, is kind of like your timer on on your on your buff, like on how long on how long you can uh, get that experience bonus. So, and, and that's that's kind of an assumption, because I realize like every time I go into a new release, um, I feel like I have the experience buff for longer. Um, so it's just kind of the way I feel and like I said don't quote me I could be very wrong on this um, violation or Minerva from my guild would probably know much better than me so alright so I'm back to the chickens um, I like to kill the cow as well just because it's hilarious okay, chicken You hear the beeping in the background. It's my work email. So um, I'm on a staycation right now, but uh, work never stops. I'm a, an IT. But um, okay, so this is the last thing I'm going to harvest on this video. I'm just going to show you what to do with the carcasses now. Um, okay, put my weapons away. Now, in the back of this building here, right in the center here, again, I'm in Owl's Head. Um, this is what reminds me of what building to use. This little shield on the door. There's a banker in here. Um, go upstairs. And there is a butcher's table back here. Isn't that lovely? I'm turn my light on here. Alright, so you just double click on the butcher's table. And again, remember I showed you how to buy the cleaver. Um, now, you're going to show... I, th I think you're going to show the bass meat, the salmon meat, the trout meat. And... I think those are the only three recipes that you start with. Now in this game, when you get new recipes, you can either buy them from vendors that are like 250 gold or something, or you can look on the Shroud of the Avatar wiki and look up the recipe and then all you have to do is put the ingredients in here, craft, and then it puts the recipe in your book. So that's, that's really the way to go. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and you have to shift click to grab one um, again this is a sandbox so the, the crafting and everything is a little more difficult than it would be in a theme park um, so then I'm just putting the cleaver and the bone bovine carcass now if I didn't have that recipe in there it would put it in there okay so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're going to grab that put it back over there see now it gave me four meat which are worth 20 a piece on the cow 20 gold a piece okay selling just the carcass was three gold so I'm also getting two gold from the fat and that's the value to sell it to a normal vendor not a player vendor I'm also getting three gold from the bones now that took one quantity away from a tool that only cost me two gold so you can just that's basically no overhead at all you just it's your time and that's all Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this whole thing Why I'm here just so I can show you how much money I make off of one round of these kills. Okay, so craft, craft, craft. Now I do this. Craft. Now see how I took the items away individually because they weren't highlighted? that allowed me to where it's only gonna highlight the new items in the crafting window so now I can just drag all three of those items and it keeps the cleaver there okay back to chicken carcasses craft see some of the carcasses just give you the meat but if it's a fatty animal like uh, like the sheep or the uh, cow 
then it'll give you the fat and the bones and stuff too so which are obviously worth more um the, it's funny because the the rabbit carcasses the meat goes for six gold which is twice as much as the other meats but it doesn't give you the other the fat and the bones as well so let's get these done real quick here And yes, you can only do one at a time. Um, if you go to craft this stuff, um, I was always like messing up at first and I was just putting like the whole stack in there because I'm used to games like just taking what it needs when I'm doing crafting. Um, this game does not do that. Um, I, I think the reasoning behind it is it makes it harder to figure out recipes because they want you to experiment and figure things out on your own there's like no helping hands um, in this game and and I really enjoy that actually um, not have been used to it for a while because I mean ever originally ever did that to where it was no maps um, you had to remember like landmarks and everything to get to the dungeons and and people didn't even know the dungeons were there until they discovered them just by exploring and then and I think that's a, what a lot of theme parks are missing um, but there's a lot of Care Bears out there now nowadays. Um, just uh, want everything given to them, and I feel like if I'm gonna spend time in a game, I want to feel like I earned something. Um, and and that's just the way I feel. Um, so uh, yeah, sorry, it's a lot of carcasses. I'm just trying to make conversation here. Um, because I'm cheap and have not purchased a video editor yet. <laughs> so <laughs> um, that will happen eventually. I'm just just starting to get into recording more videos and everything. Um, and I'm trying to record them for every game I play. Um, I would probably be doing more videos on Elder Scrolls Online. Um, especially when they come out with more raids. Um, my guild had has posted on Thalon's page um, a bunch of videos of us doing raids or what they call trials over there on uh, Elder Scrolls Online. Um, but at the moment the trials that are in the game are trials that nobody wants to do because they're outdated and people don't need the gear anymore and you can craft better gear nowadays. So. Um, I think that's all the carcasses. Alright, so that's all the carcasses broke down. Um, so now that we have broken down all that meat and fat and bones, you can go to the vendor. Do, 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 do. You can also kill this horse, but the. Uh, Sadly, it doesn't give you any meat, just gives you a hide. Um, also, horses are a little harder than a regular mob, so you, hopefully you have a little skill before you kill the horses. Um, okay, so I'm going in here. So if I go to sell my inventory and I go to crafting here, so that's 37 gold for that um, the bovine meat is 36 gold the chicken meat is 16 gold um, the fat is 20 gold the mutton meat is 60 gold the rabbit meat is 21 gold and the venison meat is 60 gold I believe that is all the meat fat and bones Notice the cleaver's at 68 durability because he uses one durability per thing. Um, later on, you can craft like an artisan cleaver that I think is just doesn't take as much damage or something. Um, but look at that 250 gold in about 20 minutes worth of work. Um, that may not seem like a lot, but one skill costs 100 gold to to train in. So as you level up certain skills to 10, it, it unlocks all the skills below, and I'll show you that before I end the video here. So you sign for that, get your gold, go back to the trainer.
just to show you um, the way the trees work. So, so I get this to 10, then it'll unlock it to where I can pay 100 gold to unlock these things under here. Okay? And then you get those to 10, and you can unlock that, that to 10, and unlock that, and so on. And it's like that in every single tree. All right? So that was my newbie way to make money. You can make about, um, I've made from 1,000 to maybe 1,500 gold, I believe, in an hour. So that is the way to go if you want to uh, make money as a noob without any danger. All right? All you need is that two gold to buy the cleaver, and you start out with the skinning knife. And I've probably made 3,000 gold um, so far. I've obviously spent gold. Um, but just so you know, the skinning knife that you start out with, look at that. It's at 19 durability. So I was able to just drag that skinning knife along, and I never repaired it. And it lasts forever. And then the cleaver only costs two gold. So we're good to go. Alright guys, uh, comment below, like if you like, subscribe if you want to subscribe. I will be improving the channel, graphicals, and you know, more videos and, and that kind of thing. Uh, so thank you for watching and I hope this helped. Bye bye.